today we will continue our studies of puzzles because again if you just force yourself make yourself look one move farther down the road as my one 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 move farther down the road as, as my teacher used to say that's going to make you one percent smarter now we can use the same analysis of last time what do we want and what is our problem that is restricting us from getting what we want but what we want well we see but this problem is probably going to involve the back rank checkmating, right? Because our rook and our queen, they're both eyeing the back rank. And if the queen and knight, if they just disappear, then we have multiple checkmates coming up. And well, because you, because they just said we want the queen and the knight to disappear, how do we do that? We can simply take this knight. Now, why can't he take my queen? Well, again, when he takes our queen, that means we have successfully gotten rid of both um, the queen and the knight, we got both of them off the back rank, meaning we just get rook b8, and when he blocks up his queen, we'll just take the queen, we'll check me. Now rook d1, very smart move. He wants us to take this, right? But then he can just take our queen because our rook can no longer get down to the eighth rank to deliver checkmate. So he just cannot take this. So just the calm move, just step up your king. So that's all that's, that's that's all you need to do because there's just too many things for him to worry about because well he still can't take our queen right because of checkmate and if he takes our rook well we'll, we'll take her his or her queen uh, with again checkmate and if he doesn't do anything well then we'll take the queen with checkmate so there's just simply nothing he can do to stop checkmate